up everybody this is austin coming at you from the unified sports and inclusion center here in grand rapids with another fit friday video so we are going to be doing some running today and we're going to be teaching you a technique called intervals that's going to help you run a little bit better but first we're going to stretch because that is super important whenever we do any kind of running exercise we always want to make sure that we warm up and stretch first all right, let's get started. So we're gonna begin with our stretches. And the first stretch we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called the toe touch, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together like this, we're gonna bend over, we're gonna keep our knees nice and straight, and we're gonna see how far we can get our hands toward our toes, okay? So if you're like me, you can only go about halfway down, that's okay. As long as your hands are going toward your toes without your knees bending, you're in good shape and you're going to get a good stretch in those hamstring muscles, which are right kind of below your knees, below your calf muscles, which are right under your knees. Your hamstrings run all the way down your legs just like this, okay? And when we run, we use those hamstrings a lot. So we want to make sure that they're nice and loose before we start running. All right, so. We're going to get started. I am going to count to 15, and if you're able to, try to see if you can count with me while we do this. Okay? Here it goes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so now I'd like everybody to have a seat. Okay, we're all gonna sit on the ground, okay? And we're gonna do something called the butterfly stretch. Now, can anybody guess why we call this the butterfly stretch? I know it might be kind of hard to see through the camera, but do you notice how my feet are set up on the ground here? Yeah, they're set up to look like the wings of a butterfly. So we're going to do the butterfly stretch together. Now, I have another question, and this is a little bit trickier. Can anybody guess which muscles I'm stretching when I do the butterfly stretch? Yeah, my hip muscles. So we are going to stretch our hip muscles, and these muscles are also pretty important when we run. So we want to make sure that they're stretched out before we start running, okay? So with the butterfly stretch, you want your knees as far out to the side as you can so that you can get a nice deep stretch inside those hips, which are right in between your stomach, so your core area, and the rest of your legs. All right, so just like with our toe touch, we're going to go for 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. Here it comes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we're going to do something a little bit different. So this isn't really a stretch. This is a little bit more of a warm-up, what we would call a warm-up. A stretch is where you stretch specific muscles, where you warm up specific muscles. But this is going to be a bit more of a warm-up where we're just going to do sort of a generalized sort of warm-up where we're moving around a little bit, okay? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to be doing some marching. So if anybody's ever done high knees before, this is going to be pretty similar to that, except we're going to be going a little bit slower. So with high knees, normally you're going at kind of running or jogging speed. Right now, we're just going to be going nice and slow, okay? Another helpful way to think about this is think of a soldier marching on the battlefield. Or if you've ever been to a football game, a college football game, you might have seen the marching band. All the players march like this too. So we're going to be marching like we're in a marching band or like we're soldiers on a battlefield. Okay? And we're going to do this for about 45 seconds or so to about a minute, something in there. And then we're going to get started with the fun stuff. All 
All right, and the reason why we're doing this is just to kind of help our legs loosen up just a little bit more. We've already stretched them, but this is just a nice, easy way to warm up. All right, so we'll go for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, are you ready for the fun stuff? Because I'm sure ready for the fun stuff. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do next, okay? So we're gonna practice something called intervals, okay? And what's really, really cool about intervals is this is a technique that can help you learn to run for longer periods of time without you having to run for insanely long periods of time, three, four, five, six minutes right from the start, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we are gonna walk for about one minute, so just a regular walk, and then we're gonna jog for 30 seconds, okay? And then we're gonna start over. We're gonna walk again for one minute, and then we're gonna jog for 30 more seconds, and then we're gonna do it one more time, where we're gonna walk for one minute, and then jog for about 30 seconds, okay? Now, that's where we're gonna start, but you can get better at this. And the way you get better at this is once you get more comfortable with it, you can start jogging for longer stretches of time. So for example, you might decide to jog for one minute instead of 30 seconds. And then eventually you can start walking for shorter amount of times. So eventually when you get good at this, you might only walk for 30 seconds or even 15 seconds, and then jog for longer periods of time, like one minute, one minute and 30 seconds, two minutes, etc. So that's the goal. That's how we get better at this, okay? So you don't need a timer for this. I'm gonna keep track of time. And we might not necessarily go for the whole one minute, or we might go just a little bit over one minute. That's okay. We're gonna to try to kind of stick to that ballpark of about one minute for our walks. Same thing with our jogs. So we're gonna to try to jog for about 30 seconds. If we go a, little, a few seconds short of that or a little over that, that's okay. No big deal, okay? So don't worry too much about the time. I will do the best I can to keep track. Another thing to keep in mind with this, there are a couple ways you can do this. Now for me, I am going to jog in place and walk in place, and that's because I want to make sure that I stay in the shop with my camera. But if you have a bigger space or feel like it, you can actually walk around like this. So kind of walking around. This is a pretty big room here at the Unified Sports and Inclusion Center, so I'm able to do this. And you can also jog around like this. So you don't necessarily have to stay in one place like I'm doing. Okay, I'm just doing this just so that you can see me the whole time and that way I don't end up somewhere outside of the shop. Okay, so with all of that having been said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, and we're going to get started with our one minute walk or about our one minute walk. Okay, here it comes. Ready, set, go. So again, this is just a regular walk. We're not marching necessarily. If you really do feel like marching, you can. But ideally, we're just gonna walk the way that we normally walk, okay? We are just walking the way that we normally walk. And this is a really good exercise to do. It's really nice out. So if you feel like going out in the park or in your neighborhood and just walking around and taking everything in, always a good thing to do. All right, so we're gonna start jogging in about 15 seconds. Remember, wait for my instruction. We're not gonna start jogging just yet. All right, let's start in about eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start jogging.
All right, we've got about 20 seconds left. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Let's start walking again. Now, if you ever get short of breath, or you find that when you finish one of the jogging intervals and you find that it's kind of harder to breathe, or you feel like your heart is racing really, really fast, one of the ways that you can help get your heart rate down, because running tends to get our heart rates up, okay? So one of the ways that you can help those things is you can practice some deep breathing. So while we're just walking here, we're gonna do a couple deep breaths together, okay? So let's breathe deep in through our nose, out through our mouth, In through our nose and out through our mouth. Good. And we're going to start jogging again in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start jogging. And again, this is not a sprint, okay? We're jogging at a moderate pace. about halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, this is our last walk, okay? Now, feel free to do that breathing again if you need to, okay? Remember to breathe deep in through your nose and out through the mouth. Again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. All right, so we're going to start jogging for our last time in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody start jogging. Finish strong. Don't need to sprint though. Remember to breathe as much as you can as you're jogging. All right, final five seconds, everybody. Finish strong. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Everybody freeze. Woo! All right. So, just like it's so important to warm up before we do any kind of running exercise, it's also really important that we cool down as well. So, we're going to do a little bit of that, okay? So, the first thing we can do is we can raise up really high like a tree. And then just breathe deep in through our nose. And out through our mouth. Let's do that one more time. In through our nose. And out through our mouth. Good. 
Come down to our toes again. Remember, try not to bend those knees. And we go in through our nose. And one more time, out through our mouth. Good, again, the goal with this is just to try to get our heart rate down and also help us control our breathing if we're having any kind of struggles with that. All right, so let's go ahead and sit back down. And we're gonna do something a little bit different, okay? So we're actually gonna do a sitting toe touch, okay? So this is another really good hamstring stretch, okay? So just like with our regular toe touch, we wanna try to see if we can touch those toes without bending our knees, okay? The only difference is we're gonna be sitting down while we're doing this, okay? So let's make sure that our hands are out in front of us, that they're towards our toes, and you don't necessarily have to get all the way to your feet. I'm only getting about halfway down. And we're going to see if we can do this. Remember not to bend your knees and try not to lean way, way forward. Okay. Just sit up like you normally sit up. Okay. And your hands are just going to be out in front of you towards your toes. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do this for 15 seconds. Ready? Count along with me if you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, and just for the fun of it, we're gonna go ahead and do one more butterfly stretch. So remember, your feet are gonna be together. Knees are out at your sides. Remember, we're making the wings of a butterfly with our feet. Okay? All right, here it comes. Ready? Try to count along with me if you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Excellent work today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this Fit Friday video. I hope everybody is staying healthy and strong. And until next time, let's all be Somi Fit Champions. So long, everybody.